Hi guys, Michael here. In this video, we're going to explore some of the different email metrics you should be looking at, how to understand them, and also how to improve them. Looking at those metrics is very important because it will tell you how good your current email marketing system is and also which are the areas that you should improve. So let's start with the first metric, the open rate. The open rate is the percentage of people who opened your email out of all the people who received your email. An email open is counted when the images in the email load or when the user clicks on a link in the email even if the images uh, did not load fully. The formula that we use to calculate it is emails opened divided by total emails sent and this gives us the open rate in percentages. So if 50 emails were opened out of 100 sent, this gives us a 50% open rate, for example. Now, the open rate is affected mainly by the subject line, the preview text, the sender name, and the profile picture. Some of the other variables include segmentation, which means how relevant that email is to the person receiving it, time of the day, and also your deliverability, which is something that we'll talk about in a bit. Focus on the subject line first, test different subject lines. There are many different frameworks that you can use to write better subject lines, which is something that we will cover in some of the other videos. But for now, if you want to improve your open rate, focus on the things that I just mentioned and that you see on the screen. Okay, the second important metric is the click rate. The click rate is the percentage of people who clicked on a link in your email out of all the people who received your email. The formula is link clicks divided by the total number of recipients and this gives us the click rate in percentages. So for example, if 50 people out of 500 who received the email click on a link, this will give us a 10% click rate. Now, the click rate is mainly affected by the content of the email, the call to action or the offer, and also the quality of the content inside the email. So if you want to improve your click rate, focus on these three things. And in some of my next videos, I'm going to give you specific strategies and frameworks about how to structure your email and your offers and your call to action so you get a much higher click rate. So stay tuned. Okay, next, conversion rate. This is the percentage of people who made a purchase after um, receiving your email. This is a very important metric for all of us because it indicates how effective our email marketing is and it, all, it can also determine our return on investment. So the formula is total purchases made divided by the total recipients of that email. And this gives us the conversion rate in percentages. So if, for example, 25 people out of 500 purchased after receiving our email, this gives us a 5% conversion rate. Now, the conversion rate is affected by first the intent of the click. I'm going to explain in a little bit and the conversion rate of the landing or the product page. Now, let me explain what I mean by intent of the click. So let's say you gave someone a 10% off discount code in your email and you told them go to this product page or landing page and purchase this product. This is a much higher intent than, for example, if you just randomly mentioned a product in an email, which was like maybe a blog content email or an educational email, where the intent is very different than the other email. So people will, will maybe they will visit the product page, but with a, with a far lower intent of purchase. 
and of course you have to take into account the conversion rate of your landing page or a product page so not every person that clicks on a link will buy a percentage of those people will buy because your landing page if done well for example converts at maybe five six percent if done well so yeah take that into consideration as well next i want to talk about deliverability rate it is found by taking the number of delivered emails and dividing it by the total number of emails sent so delivered emails divided by total email sent gives us the delivery the deliverability rate in percentages so for example if so for example 450 emails were delivered out of 500 total sent this gives us a 90 percent deliverability rate this is affected by your sender reputation spam rate bounce rate and your email content meaning if you included some potentially harmful content in your email this could be flagged by the system which will result in a lower deliverability rate now we'll discuss all of these things in some of my future videos how to improve your re reputation and how to make sure you don't land in spam and things like that but for now focus on these things that i mentioned finally i want to talk about spam rate this is found by taking the number of emails flagged as spam and dividing it by the total number of emails sent this will give us the spam rate in percentages so for example if three people flagged your email as spam out of 100 this is a three percent spam rate this is affected by your sending frequency the relevance of your content and also segmentations this rate can give you a good idea if you're sending too many emails or if you're sending a lot of emails to the wrong people now let's look at some benchmarks so you have something to measure your numbers against Clavio releases email marketing benchmarks i believe for every quarter of every year so the last one is from q4 of 2022 they have a lot of data they have more than 100,000 paying customers so they have access to a lot of metrics so this is a this is a report that we can we can definitely trust now you can select your category here your industry but let's just look overall what are the numbers so for email campaigns we've got 58.61% Click rate of 1.5%, conversion rate of 0.1%, and revenue per recipient. This is all flows. These are the different kinds of flows and also SMS benchmarks. Now, I'm not gonna go over every single number here. Uh, just type in Google Clavio uh, email benchmarks, find your industry, maybe it is apparel, and just compare those benchmarks and just see how you compare to the other stores selling in this market and and yeah compare these numbers and if you're not doing as well compared to the others then identify your weak spots and work on improving them so that's all for now i hope you found this video useful there are many, many other videos in my pipeline and I'm going to publish them soon. So like this video, subscribe and stay tuned. Thank you for watching.